nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Okay, so you're gonna do a demo here of yeah. how you make graphene. Yep, so okay. it all starts with a CD. Uh, you will have to just get the GO layer on the CD. To do that, I have to do this on a piece of plastic. This is the graphite oxide. It's just a jelly material wow. that is... Yeah, it's kind of saucy. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pour some here at the top or the front of the sheet and... <laughs> This is like a science cooking show. Yeah, it's as okay. simple as that. And this is Dr. Blade just to get a nice layer of graphene. Okay, so this instrument is just giving you a really uniform layer. Yes, that's, that's all it does. So now we have that layer of graphene oxide coated on a sheet of plastic. And then the next step will, just to dry this up, we can just put it in an oven, okay. and then you take it out. How long will that take? Oh, it's about 30 minutes. Okay, cool, let's do it. All right, so half an hour in the oven, and we are ready to go. Yeah, now yep. what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna punch a hole in the middle. And oh, perfect it. hole. And yep. now I need to put it on a CD here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this, and I have a spray here. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Now, this is ready. So I have some glue here on the surface. So I'm just gonna apply it right on the middle. Looking so the good. next step is yep. basically cut off the extra on the edges. Now we have to go to the computer. Yes. Okay, so the solution's gone on the disc, it's dried out, and now we're ready to etch. Yep. When you first did this, yep. that was three years ago? Well, um, that was in 2011. Okay, so 2011 actually... is yeah. when you first did this. Yeah. All right, and... show me. All right, so, so that's the label maker. All I'm gonna do like right now is basically convert the GO here to graphene. And to do that, I'm just using a symbol uh, label maker. So. You use a label maker yeah, to, to make the future? Yeah, Okay, cool. Because like, so. you use whatever tools are at your disposal. Yep, so these patterns are just like where the graphite oxide is gonna turn into graphene. This is a DVD burner, it was a last buy. <laughs> I'm putting my CD. There you go, people. The future of portable power right here on this label maker. Yeah, just print. So you hit and it, it just and it works. Yeah, so that's, that's all you need. Okay, well. so, okay so. so so this is the software. I'm just putting it here like a simple kids, pattern. Kids, kids, you can do this at home. No, don't do it at home. I guess you could. I've seen many high school students actually asking us about this process. Right. And you can actually look into this like YouTube, you'll find many videos on how to make graphene supercapacitors at home. Because you can actually do this at home. You can just buy graphite oxide, it's available in the market at low price. Yeah. You get it and you just coat it on the DVD and you just do the process. Exactly you need a label like maker, this. DVD burner, and that's it. I'm just putting it here a simple pattern. Now in pattern your label here. maker, you've got all these patterns here. Yeah, so these patterns are just like where the graphite oxide is going to turn into graphene. And these patterns are actually that uh, I'm putting them there so that after it's been scribed here, scratched here, it will just be like a graphene supercapacitor. Yeah. So, um, cuz I see I see yeah. a lot of these are kind of traditional capacitor shapes which yeah. are parallel plates and things like that. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Okay. So, you just print it on and then you get after about 13 minutes later you will get the CD with a graphene made on top of that. Okay. Yeah. And so is this still how you're doing it or you have some other process? Well, we we moved on to make it a larger scale right now. So. so, and by moving on, you don't mean like you got a bunch of computers with a bunch more CD burners. Well, you have a different process. I'm not sure I can talk about that because okay. it's uh, it's it's a proprietary information. Okay. Uh, yeah, but we just make graphene specific passwords now at a larger scale. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yep. So, in about half an hour, you just have a disc full of super capacitive material. Yep. Cool. Yeah. I want to add one more thing. So, so this is uh, like a labeling technique. So you actually put graphene where you want. So not only that you can make graphene supercapacitors, but you can also make other devices like transistors. You can make that. You can make loudspeakers. You can make like other devices. So, so what? in fact, so I actually did make my business card with graphene. So I print my picture. I put some devices there so that, that in the future will be something like a smart business card that actually so, sort of has its own sensors and actually, yeah, another thing is like So sensors. right, you could put yeah. a transistor, yeah. a loudspeaker, as well as a supercapacitor. So yep. basically you could charge up your business card 
and then it would play a sound and have your picture on it. Yep. <laughs> so it's all like that. Cool. Okay, my hair, you gotta tell me about what you're using this laser. Because I've got a laser at home, a laser cutter. Yeah. And well, it occurred to me that maybe you could use this to do your fusing. Is that, is that correct? It's the same thing. Yeah, that's true. So this is, um, I mean, you can make the same process here, but using the laser, laser table because it's got a bigger area than a CD desk. Yes. So you can make more devices. You can make it on a larger piece of, you know, of, of aluminum like here. So what I did okay. here is just a larger piece of yeah, aluminum foil, just yeah. standard aluminum foil, yeah. and then I'm coating it with a layer of the graphite oxide slurry, so just a larger piece, okay. that's all it is. So same graphite, and, and same, now same material. you're just using a different laser. I'm using a different laser, and the previous, again, is like this laser is bigger, bigger area, you can build larger right. devices, more devices. So I'm gonna put it in, Okay. Um, and start the process. So, well, I have it in there, cool. load it. Right, so I'm gonna control it from the computer. I have everything there. I mean, we can control okay, the, uh, how many devices we can build let's or we make sides them graphic. Here so I can get a better look. All right, at the so so this laser table is like it's like an XY laser table. Yep. That basically um, you can you can you can work with the roster mode there, but then the the laser itself has a power and you can control its power. Yep. So you can that's that's what this program is for. Right. And also the speed that the laser is rustering on the, over the surface, because yeah. that controls the quality of the final graphene that you make. So I now just is the resolution an issue for you? Well, it is an issue. Layer. This one has lower resolution than light scribe. That's the that's yeah. the, the bad, the downside of this. But the the good sides of that, it's just a bigger area, and and you do not limit it to the substrate. Here you can have to make it on a CD disc, right? Right. But this one you can make it on oh, whatever substrate right. you like. So you that's can a use that's whatever an you want. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm just trying to put here the power here at about about 16 percent. I'm controlling also the speed of the laser that's going is about 80 percent of the of the machine, and I just have a like a plain like picture here, uh, black uh, that I draw with just a simple software, okay. and I'm gonna start burning here. So the laser is gonna start, and as you can actually see, what's what's really happening here is that the material, the graphite oxide slurry, is being converted to graphene. That's what's taking place here. Yeah. So, Which is kind of cool that you can see it because when it's in the CD drive, you can't see that. But here it is. Here it is right here, <laughs> graphene being made. Yep. Well, that's awesome, Meher. Thank you so much for the demo. I didn't know it was so easy to make graphene. Thank you very much. Great to tell you.